hello good morning welcome to another video if you are new to this channel please remember to like subscribe and comment now what we're going to focus on in this video is substitution right and let's talk a little about substitution now I am sure everybody can relate to substitution in their everyday life right for example if if you are in a school situation right and your teacher is absent from school you would notice that another teacher will come to your class so that is an example of substitution for those who like sports for example a football match is playing and one of the player on the field got injured then the coach will substitute that player for another player right or even in your home when you are preparing something let's say that you are making some juice and during the process of making the juice you realize that you don't have enough sugar to sweeten the juice but you know you have some honey right or you have some syrup right then you would substitute either the honey or the the syrup right for sugar also um when you are cooking let's say that you are cooking so you are for you are, you, are, you are preparing some egg and during the process you realize oops I don't have any cooking oil but when you check the cupboard you realize that you have some butter then you could substitute the butter for the cooking oil right so just like how we can substitute in real life we can also substitute when we are talking about algebraic expressions so we're going to look at how we go about that now the example that I have here states that if x is equal to 2 y is equal to negative 3 and z equal to 4 calculate the value of each of the following algebraic expression and the first expression that we have is a that states 2x plus y right so we have an expression which is 2x plus y and we are asked to evaluate or calculate the value of this expression right what we know we know the value of x we know that x is equal to 2 and we also know the value of y we know that y is equal to, to negative 3 so what we're going to do is to replace these values in the expression so what you would write is that you put we know that this is going to equal to 2 times instead of writing back x you write the value of x and the value of x in this case is 2 and you write your 2 but you use a bracket to show your substitute substitution right put back your plus sign and you're going to open another bracket and then instead of writing back y we're going to write the value of y and we know that y is equal to negative 3 so we're going to put negative 3 here and close our bracket all you need to do now is to simplify this and you are finished so the bracket implies multiplication so this means 2 times 2 that's going to give us 4 and we have a plus sign multiplying a minus sign that's going to give us one sign which is a negative sign I will put back our 3 here so what we'll end up with is 4 minus 3 and that will give us a final answer of just one and we are finished for this question All right so that's part a here now for part b we are given z minus 2y right and we're asked to find calculate the value of this now we know what z is right z is 4 so we're going to replace this z with 4 so we open a bracket and we'll put 4 close our bracket put back our minus sign put back our 2 and open another bracket we know what y is so instead of writing back y we're going to write the value of y which is negative 3 
So what we need to do now is to simplify this. So this here is going to be 4 and a negative 2 times a negative 3 that's going to give us a positive 6. Alright? And all we need to do is to combine these two numbers and we're finished. So 4 plus 6 that will give us 10. And that's it for that one. For the next one now, which is part C, we're given 5x minus 2y plus 3z. Right? So we are asked to evaluate. It's the same procedure where we see x, we're going to replace it with the value of x. Where we see y, we're going to replace it with the value of y. And where we see z, we're going to replace it with the value of z. So it's going to be 5, open a bracket. So I'm putting back x, we're going to put the value of x, which is 2. Put back our minus sign, put back our 2, open a bracket. So I'm putting back y, we're going to put the value of y, which is minus 3. Close our bracket, put back our plus sign put back 3, open a new bracket, and instead of putting back z, we put the value of z, which is 4. All we need to do from here is to carry out the multiplication and simplify. So, 5 times 2, that's going to give us 10. Negative 2 times a negative 3, that's going to give us a positive 6. And 3 times 4, that's going to give us 12. So it's going to be plus 12. All we need to do now is to add up all three numbers and we're finished. All right? So here, we know that we have 12 plus 10. That's going to give us 22. And 22 plus 6, that's going to give us 28. And we are finished here. Now, for the last one now, which is a fraction, we're given um, part D here. We're given D is equal to 8x plus y minus 2z. All of this is divided by 2x minus y plus z and the procedure remains the same right where you see x replace it with the value of x where you see y replace it with the value of y where you see z replace it with the value of z so this is going to equal to 8 open bracket Instead of writing back this x, we know that x is equal to 2, so replace it with the value, which is 2. Close our bracket, put back our plus sign, open a new bracket. We know that y is minus 3, so we replace y with minus 3. Put back our subtraction sign here, put back our 2, open a new bracket. And we know that z is 4, so we put 4 in the bracket, close it. All of this should be placed over 2 times x, but instead of writing back x, write the value of x, which is 2. Put back our subtraction sign. We know that y is negative 3, so we open a bracket, put on negative 3. I'll put back our plus sign, and then it's z, so we open a new bracket, and z is 4. So here we have done the substitution in step two there now all we need to do is to carry out the multiplication and simplify and we're finished right so eight times two that's going to give us 16 a positive times a negative will give us a negative so this is just going to be minus three with one sign and negative two times positive four that's going to give us a negative eight and all of this should be placed over the denominator. But 2 times 2, that's going to give us 4. And negative times a negative 3, that's going to give us a positive 3. 
and we write back our plus 4 here. Now all we need to do is just combine and simplify. So 16 minus 3, that's going to give us 13. Minus our 8, all of that over 4 plus 4, that's going to give us 8 plus 3, that's going to give us 11. And we still can simplify, which will give us a final answer of 13 minus 8, that's going to leave us with 5. All of that should be placed over 11. And we are finished. So that's all substitution is, right? Thank you for watching and do enjoy the rest of your day.